Hello, I'm Amalia Mukis, a Learning and Development Specialist and an AMA Trainer. When presenting training, we generally begin by stating the learning objectives, what the participant will know or be able to do at the end of the training. So it's logical that learning objectives should be the first step of the instructional design process. They set up an expectation for the learner as to the benefits they'll get from the training and how their learning might be measured. But writing effective learning objectives is a specific skill. So what separates an inadequate learning objective like be a better communicator from an effective one such as define and leverage your communication style? Well, the main difference is that good learning objectives must be smart, specific, clear and direct language to tell the participant what they should be able to do after the training. Measurable, how you'll know whether the objective was met. Attainable, participants have a chance of completing the training. Relevant to the training goal and time bound. Objectives can be learned with the time frame of the presentation. Take the inadequate learning objective we mentioned before. Be a better communicator. It isn't specific, measurable, or time-bound, and it's only attainable and relevant in a general, undefined sense. But the more effective learning objective we mentioned, define and leverage your communication style, meets all the criteria of a smart objective. Good learning objectives can also help you develop a more effective overall design for your presentation. So always remember, to make all your learning objectives smart objectives and you'll get your presentation off to a good start.